Good morning, good morning. I'm live. Excuse the non-painted nails. They're freakishly long. Right? And one and two is broke off. So I'm going to cut them all off and paint them sometime today. <clears throat> Let's get the chat open. I was a couple minutes late. I literally was sweeping my floor. There's sand all over by the garage. And I started a load of laundry. Okay, so here's the deal. I wanted to start something new. Let me pause this. Okay. And pop the chat out. Good morning, good morning. It's Monday. I'm trying to get it together, right? I can barely even get out of bed today. <laughs> uh, did I get out of bed today? Okay. <clears throat> so I wanted to just stop first and uh, just take a minute because my heart is literally racing just from getting ready for the live stream and just everything. I feel overwhelmed like I have so much to do. Uh, one, I have a hair appointment at two and then Three, my LCD screen on my brand new phone that I paid cash money for is going out. So I like have to go to the Apple store and they're going to try to fix it. But I'm going to be like phoneless for like four hours, except I have a backup phone and it doesn't talk very well. So I can text. So it's all good, right? It's just a lot of stuff to do. So... <clears throat> take a step back I got a couple things I wanted to show y'all coffee right I got my grapefruit juice with some other mixed fruit then I'm gonna stop and put my rollerball of oil on because I feel overwhelmed right need some relaxation and I'm gonna do a whiff of perfume a uh, perfume peppermint <clears throat> so I'm really literally going to inhale this and let's see if my energy changes, right? It's supposed to like wake you up and stuff. So only one tiny drop. I haven't done this in like over a month or two. So you put a tiny drop in your hand in the morning. You could probably do lemon too, right? And you're supposed to like breathe it in, but don't get it in your eyes like a dummy like me because then your eyes will burn. Don't touch your eyes. You want some? Here you go. My psoriasis is also flaring up because it's summer and it always does this. <clears throat> so yeah, okay. So what I wanna do first before I start shipping, it's 10.35 a.m. and I need to beat the mailman. He usually gets here around 12 or one, right? I haven't been using roller balls very much and my rash went away. So I've been taking it down a notch on the oil, right? I would think I was overdosing myself. Okay. Summer is so wonderful. Yeah, it's my birthday month, right? In August. Joking. <laughs> yeah, I love summer. I'm a water baby from, mm, I get stressed out if I don't go to the... I don't get in the sun and in the uh, water. So I'm going to open up eBay because I just want to do a couple researching on a couple items, typically vintage and older because I do go to the uh, Goodwill Pound store and I see so many old things and half the time I don't know if it's valuable or I don't have time. So I want to do just a little bit of research here. I'm going to screen share with you. And if there's anything anybody wants me to look up, just feel free to type it in there. Like if you want to look up candles or if you wanted to look up a shirt or something. Now I'm having kind of like a brain fart. I can't remember what I wanted to look up. So we're just going to kind of look up random things. I'm going to show you how to do the sold button. Um, but I'm just going to do like five minutes of research each day that I do shipping. If it's, I only have like, four or five orders to ship. 
Um, so on the days I don't have a massive amount and I'm not like running behind, we'll do this research together. So um, what did I want? Let's just type in like a vintage purse, even though it pulls up designers. So that may not be very helpful, right? So I just typed vintage. I guess we can go to the solds. Good morning, Tiffany. There's Christy. <clears throat> oh, he was gone. Yeah, I, was, I popped in this morning on Flippin' Hustler while he was live. While I was drinking my, yes, I'm a Leo, Christy. Leo all the way. You know, honestly, Tiffany, I feel like I do want to go live after this video again. And let's do a listing. I'll probably move to my garage. I have a table out there. It's kind of cloudy today, so it's going to be really nice in my garage. Um, so, yeah, I just have that a hair appointment at 2, so I have to leave the house by, like, 1. 45 probably and it's 10 30 10 40 a.m okay so solds so basically you type in what you want to search there was something i wanted to look what was it yeah yes definitely i hey pickers good morning I did pay uh, for my first eBay store. Um, I'm gonna actually add the link into my all of my YouTube videos for now on. I haven't done it yet, but uh, I'm still waking up. Oh, I'm lazy. Um, I got my first eBay store, so I have a hundred listings. I need to get up quick, fast, in a hurry, right? Start making some money. So we're gonna scroll down here to the left. And we're going to click on sold. It's hiding, right? eBay hides it way at the bottom, guys. Here it is. So. <clears throat> I wanted to, to, I wonder, why is there a gun on here? Vintage Marksman Plainsman. Okay, so immediately we have our vintage stuff. Hey, Nancy. So instead of putting in anything in particular today, we're just going to look at what's sold vintage and we're going to raise the price. I know a lot of YouTubers, I won't mention any names, they have a goal of anything 50 and above. So let's just type $50 and you have to hit the arrow to go. So nothing under 50 is going to pull up, okay? So we're just going to, see I come across a lot of vintage purses that have no name. Do y'all get that? Do you ever see that? Like I see that all the time and I'm always wondering like, oh my gosh, like am I passing up some really good quality purses because nobody knows who the maker is and it happens a lot. Um, so here we go. So you have some vintage toys. I do see a couple nativity things. Are these tiny? That's a hundred dollars. And I do come across these quite often lately, I think. Let's look at the size on these. These are bigger, aren't they? Okay, never mind. Backing out. <coughs> this is uh, the first time we've done this kind of what's sold thingy, so I'm a little rusty. We'll get better as we go, right? Did you guys enter the Losting Sweepstakes contest on Posh? I, I only listed like two things this weekend, you guys. Why lie? I did list some shoes last night, and I do have a pair of shoes right now I want to show you guys. Uh, what is it? Paul Green. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Check out these shoes in just a second. Let's look here just a couple more minutes. So look at this wristwatch. I wonder if it says gold on it. And it's just an old broken in pieces. Let's see what brand it is. Bravington's Renown. Oh, look, it's engraved on the inside. Holy moly. But I don't see any gold markings. Let's read what they say. It says it's nine carat, nine carat sold for that much. I guess it is a big plated, 
backing. So I have those reader's glasses that are 12 karat, but this is probably a lot more gold than reading glasses. The front watch is plat. It, what? It has a plastic cover? So you can have a real gold watch with a plastic front. The watch front plastic is cracked and the watch case has usual marks, etc. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So we're not going to waste a lot of time on each item unless somebody has a question. Um, making sure I'm not missing any comments. So honestly, there was something I wanted to research, but I can't remember because I got to sweeping and doing laundry. I can't remember what it was. So this is cool. I come across hats sometimes. And I'm not familiar with the brand here so let's learn I did pick up a Pendleton hat I think I have it listed I don't know and I need to reduce the price probably so it's resist all that's not bad except you would have to ship this in a box so it'd be like 15 or 13 dollars to ship it so okay resist all never knew I probably would not have picked this up today if I had found it, I would have not have gotten this. So that's cool. So this, I'm looking up vintage again because I come across millions and millions of vintage stuff at the Goodwill. And honestly, I think I do remember what I wanted to look up. Let's just go and look real quick. What is this vintage solid sterling silver? Only $52. And what is it? So it's... Oh, look, it says sterling right there. It's like a cigarette case. Yeah. Okay, cool. Very cool. Um, I wanted to look up a vintage book, right? A lot of times there's a lot of books that are donated. I don't know. I just wanted to see what the top books are selling for and what they look like. So then you have to go back. Oh, it's still got sold. I'm going to go ahead and raise the price to like 100 Mm -mm -mm. Whoa, $3,000. First edition. It's an aircraft book. Oh my gosh, sometimes I find stuff like this and I throw it away or I just throw it to the side. It doesn't even look like it's gold. It looks like brass or something. Okay, just a few more minutes and we'll get to shipping. Um... I have a hard time sitting down and doing research myself, so I'm going to make you guys do it with me. Sorry. <laughs> Let me know if you like it or not. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, right? We'll learn together. So this is a Civil War. Women in Confederacy. Is that what that says? Yeah. I would love to save a book and rescue it, right? So here's some vintage stationery, and I actually do come across this a lot, and I can't believe I have been throwing it to the side. Let's take a look. So is it brand new packaged, or how is it? Ooh, look at that. It's the circus one. Are they all? Oh, they're all circus. Look, they even wrote on that one. <laughs> So fun. Let's look. Uh, 37 pieces. The lot is comprised of 37 pieces of stationery uh, of age and wear, including age toning and creasing. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. What else do we got? <clears throat> Um, 139 for these children's books. Never heard of them. If 
if you never heard of it, it's usually best to click on it and see what it is and learn what it is because chances are you won't forget it when you see it. So these are cute. Hmm, where does the picture go? It won't let me click it. Best in children's books. Who's it by? Does it say up here in the title? Uh, Nelson Double Day. Oh, Andy Warhol. Huh. Very good. Oh, look at the horsey. Okay. <clears throat> huh, I guess I've never seen an Andy Warhol book. And I wonder where they have his name. Let's look. So you could know where to look immediately if you see the book. So is it down there on the spine? These, why can I not click in the pictures over here? Am I? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Wake up, Heather. Here we go. Where does it say Andy Warhol? <clears throat> March 62. See, I see stuff all the time this old. Oh, look. See, it's even damaged. Where's your name, Andy? In the, I guess it's inside or maybe on the spine. Why can't I zoom in like the other ones? Printed in USA. Okay, moving along. Let's look at something else. And <laughs> then I'll start shipping. <clears throat> um, uh, yeah, I relisted a couple things too, Christy, on my eBay. I'm really scared on the, um, I, so I shipped the, uh, of course, like the day I get my freaking eBay store, I ship out the Fender watch. And I talked about this. The guy was like, uh, I noticed there's a chip in the right corner. Cause if that's a chip, I want to adjust my price. So I canceled the order <clears throat> and uh, relisted it. And he freaking won the order again. And I'm afraid he's going to give me a negative feedback. I'm going to give him a feedback and put something like excellent eBay or God bless or something like, please be nice. Buck Rogers. What in the heck? Who is Buck Rogers? Big little books. Whoa, 1938. So, I mean, this is a whole nother ball game. Like, we could sit here all day long and just research these books because I'm not familiar with vintage books. Oh, look, there's 75 of them. Wow. I'm going to skip this one. I just need one book that's worth 700, not 70 something of them. Moby Dick. Pharmacopoeia. Copia. <clears throat> yeah, well, I relisted it and he bought it again. And I never responded to him. I should have said, like, yeah, sorry, I'll relist it. And instead, I just canceled the freaking order like a jerk. And I'm sure he's going to rate me for, like, my communication, as always. <clears throat> Body scope. Ooh, look at this. <coughs> what are you? Okay, this is the last one we're going to research, and we'll move along to shipping. Hope I'm not boring anybody. Um. Okay, so body scope. It is, is this like paper? Oh, looks kind of big. Let's look. <coughs> so it slides in a sleeve, maybe? Yeah, like a, huh, like a um, record, body scope, anatomy, okay. Um, well, I want to do more. Like, what else is there? Ooh, what you got, Nora? Are those Louis Vuittons? 
Holy moly. Oh my gosh. Are they marked a price? Nora just texted us a picture of some Louis Vuittons. Get it, girl. Get it. Look, there's a law dictionary. Okay, next time I find these like college old books. Okay, I guess it's got to be back in the way back vintage. I need to start looking up these old ass books because some of these look interesting. Ooh, the Bentley. Huh. <clears throat> oh, lantern slides. I've seen, whoa, a $1,000? Let me see what these are. I've seen something kind of like these before, but not exactly like it. Are the actual pictures? Yeah, no. Oh, these are cool. Okay, no, I don't find stuff like that. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I didn't ship anything on eBay. What do I do now? Go to my screen. Uh, let me take you to my Poshmark real quick. You could just apologize and then explain. Okay. To, never too late to respond. Um, yeah, I guess you're right. I just feel like he's still going to dock me for it. <clears throat> okay. Let me pull up Poshmark real quick. I want to show you all these shoes because I just found them at Goodwill. <clears throat> My coffee is getting cold. All right. So when you go to your closet, they used to not have this feature. So this is my closet. Uh, now you can actually search in your closet this way on what has sold or what you have listed. So as you can see, can y'all see my screen? I think you can. Let me pull up this chat over here a little bit. Y'all see what I have to deal with? Like, I have to move these <laughs> chat. I'm not really into kissing ass, Tiffany, but you're right. Like, I really need to. <laughs> you're such a jerk. Like, I don't care. <laughs> it's a $5 watch. Like, give me a break, eBay. This is eBay's, like really tough to sell on. Okay. So I picked up this brand, Paul Green. I just went Sunday, like yesterday to the Goodwill store. And it wasn't the pound store because my pound store is closed on Sundays. Um, but I want to show you all this brand for those who don't know. I actually hauled this brand when I first discovered the bins, the pound store, like two years ago. And I picked up some beautiful shoes and I said in the video that I was going to keep them. Well, I ended up selling them and these are the shoes that I hauled and I got these for $2, you guys. They were the most beautiful shoes I ever put my feet in and I could not keep them because the resale value was so high. So they sold. I flipped $2 into this, $135, so like $100 and something dollars. Oh, aren't they beautiful? And these shoes sold, oh my gosh. How? I mean, it sucks that Posh doesn't give us the date here or down here um, because these sold like two years ago. You guys, this same shoe is still selling. I saw this exact shoe sell here on Poshmark used for 200 and something dollars. So if you see lovely Paul Green, pick him up, pick him up. Cause I found one yesterday, brand new, and they didn't even mark it. So this shoe here also, is retailed for at like $4.98 or $3.98, whatever. I never get to find this brand. It's rare. What's cool is that both times I found it, they were both like brand new. Look at the shoe. Let's see. Where's the, did I not point the bottom? I guess I didn't. I thought I took a picture of the, um, 
the like heel on their underneath. Well, that looks like that's a gap. I should probably remove that picture because that doesn't look good to me. Um, but yeah, so definitely pick up this Paul Green. I wanted to show it to you guys. Um, the best part about this Paul Green, like say we're just here in Poshmark, right? Let me make sure I don't got any offers here. So this girl keeps haggling me for 10, 12, 13. I've been fighting her high and she's gone up that much. Oh, I want to accept it, but I'm going to counter her because it's a good brand and these are like brand new shoes. So I'm going to counter her and I'm going to be stubborn and tell her $16 for the third time. So we don't get to ship that. But anyways, what I was going to say, and then we're done, promise. If you type in Paul Green, look at how many pull up. Not a lot. Well, maybe it will now that y'all are here. <laughs> well, okay, I lied. Look, they're even selling them for 29 This didn't pull up on my phone. Sorry. Oh, my God. They sell men's? Holy moly. Um, sorry. Let's go to solds. <clears throat> wow. I had no idea that they do sell. It's, for some reason, this didn't pull up on my cell phone last night. Sorry, guys. Um, so I had no idea that they even do go as low as 28. But they sell good. See, there's these ones that I'm telling you. I wish I had these. Like, if I had these, these would be my favorite shoes. You guys, they're the most comfortable shoes ever, too. But my husband hates the style, right? Okay, so that's it. I'm just showing you that. Okay. <laughs> now y'all want to see my place boots purses? Do you ever pick up leather goods that need conditioning lotion to make it look nicer? Yes, I saw your picture of the Louis Vuitton. You think they're fake? Oh my gosh, get them anyways, girl. Get them. I'm all get them. Totally get them. Whew. Okay, dark. Lights, camera, action. Oh my gosh, yes. So here's the shoe I hauled, the Paul Green. So I went ahead and listed mine for 298, 298. Um, but after seeing the solds and realizing that they do, oh my gosh, you guys, it's, I guess it's going to rain today. I don't have any lighting. Very good. Um, trying to show you all the color. It's like a tan, but I think online says olive, whatever. Paul Green for $3. Is that upside down? Yeah, yeah. I listed these as new even though I think they were worn like maybe just inside a church or something, um, but they are like brand new condition. So to keep them new, I am storing them in a bread bag too until they sell like that. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that quick little research on some vintage stuff. Um, I'll try to get some like topics of what I'm really excited to do research on and stuff that can teach us. Um, what to be on the lookout, like at estate sales or anything like that, really, garage sales and the pound store. Uh, so, yeah, let's get to the solds. What did I sell first? Now I'm going to switch computers. Um, and FYI, Gina had sent me a link on postage like these, uh, oh my gosh, labels, postage labels. I'm old school. I just use a printer. Yes. Thank you, Nora. I love learning new stuff too. Um, so Gina had sent me a link and I had bought these. They're, I believe, called five by sevens, two of them. Poshmark doesn't print correctly. Um, but I'm getting almost out. And so I went cheap. I went really cheap, right? <clears throat> Let me show you. I got like a thousand uh, labels for, this is just one. I have one more stack. I got, I think, a thousand for $25. And I think that's shipping and all, I think. 
don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. Um, but if you get the one with the yellow backing, it's cheaper, right? And the label is actually bigger. Let me show you. So not only could you use these for postage, but you could use these as like a label maker or a design maker, or whatever. You know what I mean? So it's literally the whole sheet. I mean, a half. It doesn't have the perforated around the edges. So this literally whole entire top half comes off, and I'll show you right now as soon as we ship a label. So again, 25 bucks for a thousand. That's a pretty good deal. I feel like those dyno, I know it's expensive to get the startup on the thing. It's like a hundred bucks. Um, but I don't feel like the refills are gonna be very cheap either. So I'm just like super cheap. I like my printer. <clears throat> oh, we got to hurry, right? It's 11 o'clock. Hurry and do the shipping and we can start a listing video. Does anybody want to list with me live today? Your computer was restarted because of a problem. I know. You're old. Super old. My mom sold a couple things. Um... We sold a vintage jumpsuit. I won't be shipping that today because I already shipped it without you guys. Nora, if you can go live or if you can just post them on Poshmark, I will look at them and I will tell you if they could probably pass as real. Um, I have picked up Louis Vuittons and I listed them as real and Poshmark is so lenient. The only way I feel like you would think that they're cheap is if there's really, I mean, if they're not real, is if you notice there's some, it's really cheap. Is it cheaply made? Uh, Poshmark, come on, Posh. <clears throat> okay. Internet's taking forever. Here we go. It's like I need to get one more light right here. Come on, Internet. It's loading. Okay. I just woke it up. Um, let's go to my mom's account. She only sold one thing, or I mean, I shipped the other stuff, so. Um, Roblox, Roblox. We're not playing Roblox right now. <laughs> Force quit. It pisses me off that iTunes is always on open on the computer. Like, I never buy iTunes stuff, ever. Okay, Skylark in Texas. Come on. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, you can text. You did text it to me. That's right. Okay. Shockingly, this item sold for $17. Again, I picked it up at the pound store. And, wow, this lighting. I uh, picked it up at the pound store. So I probably paid, again, less than a dollar for this. Um, it's like a swimsuit cover up. However, when you. First, when I probably grabbed it and touched it, it's super soft for one. It's also a bright white. It's like brand new. I would think she only wore it one time, if even that. It feels like it may have never even been washed if it's ever been worn. Um, yeah, it's like almost still smells like the store. So it's a brand signature studio. And honestly, I'm not even sure where they sell this. I don't know if they sell it at Dillard's or not. But this 
I reduced, it was listed high, and I knew that this cross stitching is like so popular right now, right? It's super sexy. It's totally in style. This thing sold for $17, so it gave us a profit of $13.60. So we're going to ship that now on my yellow label. The yellow backing. Download the label. It's going to Roberta in Tennessee. Thank you, Roberta. 75% on a five by seven borderless label print. And it's slow. I'm gonna refill coffee real quick while it's printing. There's sand all over the freaking floor because we went to the beach. I need to mop my house. I need to hire a maid. I need to paint my nails because they're freakishly long. La, fo La Folletti. La Follette. Oh, we get to ship Kate Spade. Can I point? Way over there. Okay. I was being silly. Okay, so we're going to ship this in the cardboard envelope. What are you called? A flat rate envelope? Okay, so check it out. Hmm. The entire section here is a label. So there's no edge compared to, let me show you. I guess you'll get the point. I don't know why I have to show you, but so you get more of your label, right? So let's say you needed to print something and you want it to fill the whole five by seven. This is, this will help. So it's a borderless, I guess is the word I'm looking for, right? Yes, I feel like grabbing tissue paper, but I'm not going to. eBay? Yeah. Hell yeah. Like, I'm scared of eBay, right? All right, there's one down. And then we need to log out into my account. So I sold like three things. So we're going to market ship. Make sure that there's no offers. Is it fitted and do you think it will fit a medium? Well, let's take a look. We have a question. <coughs> okay, so I have a shirt that's listed for a size small. It's very stretchy. She's asking if it'll fit a medium. I know because I held the shirt. It's very stretchy and yes, it will fit a medium. So I'm going to tell her yes, this will fit a medium. It's stretchy. And uh, what was I going to say? I forgot what the heck I was going to type. It's got nylon. Is nylon stretchy? 
it's stretch, stretchy and crap. Yes, this will fit a medium. It's stretchy and hell, it's stretchy. I'm just going to put that. I can't forget. I can't remember what I was going to put. Okay, now we're going to log out. Oh my gosh, get it together, Heather. Okay, so I actually only have two things to ship because um, I already shipped a couple other things. So this is just what I have for Monday morning. Um, so I sold this Kate Spade purse. So tell me how y'all feel about this because I'm kind of like, kind of, I feel like judging myself. Like my profit is only $18 <laughs> and I feel like I want more, but $18 is pretty good. So I bought this. I think the sticker's still in here, isn't it? Yeah. Bought this for $18. Looks like $81. Oh my gosh, I'm going to kill my lights, right? Sorry, that's not a nice word to use at all. Um, so again, I bought this for $18. I do believe I put a number in here because I numbered this one to track the inventory. <clears throat> so... I accepted a best offer. It's in mint excellent condition. It does have a couple light staining on the inside, not much, but um, sold for 45. Again, I paid 18, giving me a profit of $36, but minus that 18, well, I guess plus the tax, so $19 maybe, which means I only made $17 off of it. It was fun, but would have been nice if it was more, right? But yeah, that was fun. Rarely do I get to thrift and resell Kate Spade bags that are newer and in really good condition. So when it sold, I was like, eh, $18. I'm like, you can do better, Heather. <laughs> so I'm such a brat. Anywho, download the shipping label. Nice purse, right? It matches the Kate Spade dress that a lady gave me. Some of my best, oh, I didn't mean to print it. Some of my best finds, like the gold watch that I found that was HD carat gold was handed over to me by the person standing next to me that didn't know what they were doing. Uh, the Kate Spade purse I just listed late last night and I listed it high for 75 bucks. Uh, the Kate Spade purse sold for 45 Well, isn't this weird? Because this purse is going to Tennessee as well. Didn't we just ship to Tennessee? Yeah, yeah, oh, yes, Tennessee. <clears throat> and then Tennessee again. It's gonna be a no makeup day, right? Maybe. Five by seven borderless. Okay. Okay, okay. I actually need to use two of these sheets up because I accidentally printed on them, so I'm gonna use this up real quick. They're driving me crazy. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? I have not hit the reduce button on my Kate Spade dress, but I think I'm the only one listed on Poshmark for the red Kate Spade in the size that I have. <laughs> so my neighbor let me loan loaned me a bike like he rides bikes a lot. He loaned me a bike for the Austin trip, so I'm like totally going to haul a bike to Austin so I can ride it. The bike is like super old and rusted. It's from the 80s, but it rides good. 
I'm all the rights good, and I didn't have to pay anything for it. Oh, come on, printer. All right, so we're going to ship this in a bubble wrap envelope, actually. Let me grab one. <clears throat> yeah, I can hear the sand on my flip flops. Oh, my butt today, you guys. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to use this flat rate envelope. That's a 9 by 5, 12 by 12, 9.5 by 12. And I am going to put there's no boxes. I have some boxes with some bubble wrap in there. Oh, I guess my son took out the trash and he took my bubble and bubbles. Well, that's a bummer. <clears throat> I do have this that I just got in a shipping, so I'm just going to wrap it like that. And that's it. Nothing special. You got to be all fancy. I heard Old Dirty Bastard this weekend. Y'all remember that song? Hey, dirty, baby, I got your money. That's all I want is your money. Joking. I love that song. Need to add it to my playlist. Okay, so that's it, right? Just bubble wrapping it. Happy Monday, Marty. much to do. Thank you, Bonnie. Oh my gosh, it fits so perfect. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I have got to tell you guys, okay, I bought the roll of white paper. I told you guys about it. I got it at Hobby Lobby. Okay, I got the wood background. I haven't opened it yet. This one was this one was $9.99 and the white roll was $14.95. But I had a 40% off coupon at Hobby Lobby. And the white paper, I am freaking in love with it. Why I didn't buy this white paper years ago is beyond me. Like, oh my gosh. If you haven't tried it or you're struggling with your white backgrounds or you need something different, totally go try it out. It's worth it. Worth the moolah. <clears throat> so there's those secchies. I'm washing my sheets. So I got my comforter in the living room. I mean in the dining room. All right, $36 is a profit minus the 18 I spent on it. So we're going to mark it shipped. Yeah, I guess it's a good profit. Rarely do I pay up $18 for something, but I guess it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's fun, right? I like to list it. It's beautiful, the purse. So that made it easy. I got it up like the same day or two that I bought it, I think, maybe. Okay, <clears throat> so I swear I thought I had something else to ship, but the last thing that we need to ship are these, and I actually believe I got these during the winter time, and I had them listed really high. I have reduced these things like so cheap, you guys. I even had them for $5 in my garage sale more than once, maybe twice. And these finally sold for $16. I paid $2 for them at the bins. 
a pound store. So my profit is twelve eighty. So take off the two dollars I spent. I made ten dollars and eighty cents, roughly, maybe if even that, because of the tax, right? Then I got to pay taxes on it. So, <laughs> like, yeah, that's less than a nine dollar profit, probably. I don't know. I hate math, so don't quote me on that. <clears throat> They're cool wedges, right? So download the shipping label. Yay, then we get to start a listing video. <clears throat> I don't want to go drop off my phone today. So yeah, uh, and I've already mentioned it. But I have this new phone that I paid $800 for, and the LCD screen's already going out. So I gotta drop off my phone to get it fixed. But I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. <clears throat> okay, what are we gonna ship? in the padded again, padded envelope. <clears throat> what the heck did I do to my background? <clears throat> <laughs> I printed on a paper and not a freaking um, label. This one's no way. How is this one going to Tennessee too? That's three orders and all three of them are going to Tennessee. What happened in Tennessee? <laughs> Why is everybody buying from Tennessee? Totally freaking out. Okay. Very weird. 75% <clears throat> five by seven borderless print. I did that last night too. Printed two on paper, not the label. One was for Tennessee too. Wow. Yeah, I think all three of the orders were to Tennessee. Crazy. Crazy. <clears throat> Corey Tim. Tennessee, it's going to a guy named David, or his wife ordered under the name David. David in Tennessee. Well, shipping is done, finally. Just got to pack this last one. <clears throat> oh, hello. David. Corrington, Tennessee. Let's remember to lower prices or list for Tennessee next time Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I've been really using a lot of bread bags lately and um, kind of not happy about it, but I feel like my product is being protected more. Um, I'm super cheap. Y'all know that. Um, but yes, I have been using my bread bags to ship shoes a lot more lately. So let me show you. I use the typically the old ones that we repacked so like I have this old one we already used I'm gonna reuse it and ship one shoe in here and then the other shoe in another red bag 
so I'm really, really, except I'm already getting close. Now we have to use a new one. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Anywho, right back. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if it's gonna rain. Okay, guys, stop shipping for the day. For the morning, anyways, let's check this notification. Um, she didn't accept my $16 offer yet for those reef sandals, so yeah. Let's see how much money I got pending, right? That's the best part. My balance that's cool. I have $207.60 pending. Um, on Poshmark. And did I sell something big? Why is it? Oh, I got the $45 purse. Oh, and I have the Tory Burch sandals in there. They still, it's shipped. It has not been delivered yet. So, yeah. All right, guys, if y'all want to come um, listing with me or if anybody wants to come live, you can. Um, I'm going to have to fix my face, right? You like my new labels? They're cheaper than the bordered ones, so I'm a sucker for cheap, right? Um, and I could totally see myself, like, making a cool label on something one day. You know, like, even your kid's book. Like, you could print their name on that label and just slap it on their book, and it would be cool. So, thanks, Nancy. But, yeah, give me a few minutes. Um and uh, we'll go live. Let's go ahead and start the live stream at 12 p.m. It's 11.30, so we'll give everybody 30 minutes to get your stuff ready. Or if you need to fix your face, if you want to come live with me, let's do it. Okay, have a great week. Thanks for hanging out. And let me know if you have any questions or comments in the drop box. Not the drop box, the box down below. Okay, bye-bye.